Welcome everyone to our podcast. Today we have a special guest, Mazhar Ali Raza, who is a printed developer and recently landed his dream on job after completing his internship. We will be discussing the journey of how he start learning printed development, how he got internship and job offer, and some tips for others who are, who are looking for printed developer role. So let's get started uh, with the quick intro of Mazhar. Uh, all right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sayyid Mazhar Ali Raza. I am a B.Tech student. I'm currently in my third year. Um, by profession, I am working full time as a front end engineer in a marketing based startup. Um, so I started as an intern over there and then sort of uh, worked my way up to a permanent position. Um, apart from that, I've been learning web development since my first year. So it's been a while now. I will uh, to, these days I'm either working on a new project or um, I'm learning some new skills. I guess yeah, that's it. Thank you. So that's a great intro. So uh, just tell me about like how did you learn frontend development and what are the resources that you use for learning frontend development? Um, yeah, sure. So uh, I started as I mentioned, I started my uh, frontend journey in first year. Uh, because I already had some exposure, uh, as we, I think most of us uh, have already learned HTML in like seventh, eighth class. So at that point of time, I was really fond of web development since seventh, eighth class. So I had this in my mind, and I was clear, very clear about it um, that when I'll go into college, I'll start web development. So that was something that helped me the clarity. Uh, I did not get into DSA and all because I knew that was not uh, my cup of tea. Uh, so I started uh, with front end, of course, basic HTML, CSS. I believe that uh, longer courses, for, uh, I, so that's my ideology. Um, see, there are courses that cover the whole web development or whole front end in, uh, development in one course, right? And I'm not a big fan of it is because it will not touch every aspect that is important. It will yeah. give you a quick overview, right? Yeah. Uh, but I believe that, that so that's why I started learn, and I knew that and that's why I started learning in chunks. So I learned HTML, CSS from one place. I learned JavaScript from other place and then ReactJS from a separate course. And I think that really helped me. Um, as far as I could remember, I learned HTML, CSS from Kodwadari. And I believe that he, he touched all topics uh, of CSS. Yeah. I know this course and by Angela Yu, uh, and I think she missed some great uh, topics such as grid and flex in her course. So that was I, I was really shocked at that point of time, because those are some very important topic, and I believe that CSS is mostly everything about grid and flex. Yeah, um, of course. So I of course right. So I learned uh, that from Code with Harry and. Uh, I learned JavaScript from Code with Ari as well, but there was a separate course. There's a separate course by him on JavaScript. Right? Yeah, there so is a and... SPN 70 video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although and, I didn't watch and... every video, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. But I, I knew I know like... about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I learned JavaScript from there. That again really helped me because I was able to, uh, you know, learn different topics of JavaScript and uh, get, I got detailed knowledge about it. After that, I uh, started my React course. I believe that react course was the best course i've ever seen on react uh, it is by uh, someone named um, I, I i can't remember his name that's the first course that appears on udemy when you write uh, react js course right uh, it's around 42 hours long i watched that course and believe me i i felt so much confident in react js because um, I've tried to learn React just from uh, other resources as well but the way he explains everything he doesn't leave you on doubt um, so that I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later on the name of that course. You, maybe you can mention it in the comments or somewhere. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Uh, so these were some resources that I used and apart from everything else, I created a lot of projects and I believe that was the source of real confidence in me. Um, projects give you a hell lot of confidence and, um, it actually shows you the power of front end. You're into front end. You know how much a project can boost your confidence. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are some things I kept in mind while learning um, front-end development. Yeah. So so many people learn front-end development, but at, after watching so many tutorials, they are not able to build their project. So could you please just tell how to build project and what type of project you have built? Uh, initially, I would recommend that uh, do learn pro uh, how to create uh, like do learn making projects from tutorials because they will teach you the uh, the required like 
see you can build projects in different kinds of manner uh, you can uh, you know uh, there will be different uh, uh, code structures for every um, uh, it will depend on every person but there is a certain uh, fixed uh, code structure that uh, everyone should follow and that will uh, our tutorial will teach you that right yeah. so initially i would recommend that uh, watch a, a lot of tutorials for projects after you're comfortable may, uh, so like after two or three two or three big projects uh, you can start creating projects on your own for ideas i believe uh, there are a lot of sources that you can get ideas from personally uh, i uh, what i do i go on, on on the internet and search for software sta- software based startups right so that will give me some, and easy ones i'll i'll quickly choose easy ones and i'll try to create them on my own from whatever tech stack i know and uh, also what i did i used to create some games and that was solely my uh, my choice because i i so it was very random i was going on the internet and i saw this game yeah and i was like i can create this using javascript i know i can create this although my code was not very clean i would totally uh, you know i admit it but um that was that was something i did so you will get creative on your own for sure over time but uh, <clears throat> the thing is first you have to watch tutorials to get confidence and to know in what way you have to write the code and after that uh, you have a lot of uh, you have internet basically you have chat gpt that will give you endless yeah. ideas for uh, projects so yeah that's how something uh, i go in i am also creative like uh, i get more than 10 plus javascript games and yeah, like yeah. i learned lots of javascript by building those games uh, i built games in um, javascript in react js um, that's the best way if you want to yeah. learn anything uh, like in web development so the first thing you can do is uh, you can build your portfolio okay so sure, building yeah. yeah once you build your portfolio you want to add some project you can yeah. make so many games like so many games or so many clone yeah. projects as well let's Absolutely. say you want to add a youtube clone okay once you like b- try to see from software development or front end developer point of aspect you will understand it how this is built and how you can make it better so once exactly. you can understand like this is the website but i can make it a better way okay you can change anything like you can make a like better background better better font or whatever awesome. it is okay so when you start changing the website okay when you start styling those then you can become a better front end developer absolutely and that shows the power of front end development when you yeah. will see everything in 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 terms of a, in like when you become a front end developer you will see that you will start uh, quickly uh, you will uh, observe things as a developer as a not, developer not yeah. as a user so, yeah so w- uh, before learning web development i just go on uh, online play some games and come back but after i i, I learned development i could actually think like a developer i was like yeah. i can create this using javascript so uh, it will come with experience for sure and uh, yeah. build as many projects as as possible that's all yeah so um, i understand like you start learning uh, front end development once you start learning you build your projects too but how did you get your internship like you got your front end like remote internship and you are currently working full time at third year like you are in currently third year and you are working full time like just tell how how did it uh get this thing uh yeah sure so initially i was not uh, like uh, so my vision was not to get internships initially it was just to you know learn the skill first so, so that's my first step learn the skill in details first if you're yeah. going to learn front end development make sure you learn html css css javascript in depth and then react js if it's necessary after that i believe i started uh, networking a lot on linkedin and uh, af- uh, to network and creating content on linkedin and networking really helped me get an internship believe me uh, after after like 4 5 months on linkedin i used to get uh, offers from people and that's very common i know you also get a lot of offers on linkedin yeah. Yeah. so that be- that so it becomes very easy for one uh, to get started in tech networking is really important and uh, uh, again projects were very uh, helpful in getting a lot of projects because people see the effort you put in projects uh, hmm. maybe uh, your the projects that you have created on your own um, projects that that are based on unique ideas are go- surely gonna get you some good offers uh, apart from that i believe that uh, so also some uh, more important tips 
uh, when you apply to some job posting uh, what i used to do i used to apply with some really smart answers uh, because uh, you know uh, there are a lot of uh, applicants out there but the thing yeah. is they do not put a lot of efforts in their answers um so mm. these are some easy op- opportunities that you can grab right uh, you can uh, always uh, apply with some really unique and impressive answer and that will help you gain the attention of of, of the interviewer right so that is one thing uh, also i used to get referrals from the startup that i apply into um i just go on linkedin if it's a small startup i'll directly uh, sorry i'll directly um reach out to the ceo or cto and i'll message like i have applied to this job in your startup can you please look into my resume so that has helped me a lot believe me uh, so these are some things that i've always kept in mind while applying projects a uh, referral some smart answers uh, networking on linkedin uh, uh, yeah i guess that's it thank you um so that's the exact way i got so many opportunity through linkedin and angellist so basically what you have to do as a developer you you should have a a uh, linkedin profile and if you want to create your linkedin profile and want to optimize so that so many recruiter reach out to you so do check out my video on linkedin uh, once you now once you created your linkedin profile now you have to understand how to message your cto co-founder and recruiter so that also i have created a video where i mentioned how i get 20 plus job offers in last two years by applying that method so i highly request everyone to do check out that video to understand how to message and how to create your linkedin profile and everything so uh, that's great answer so let's move on to the next person so uh, we can understand that sometimes we don't get an internship so i want to ask when you don't get an internship after like so many application at that point of time what are the things that you should look like Uh, at what time? What you can do? What are the other alternatives uh, rather than doing internship? Um. So first of all, and everybody knows this that I'm going to answer this, is that open source. Open source is something that you can do when you don't get internships. There are a lot of projects out there on GitHub. Uh, collaborate with people. Talk to other people on LinkedIn. Ask the. Uh, so you what you can do is you can directly reach out to the own owner of that repository, right? and yeah. uh, ask them how can we how can i uh, contribute to your project uh, that is there apart from that volunteering work is um, uh, very active uh, in tech you can do that i've been into in this like uh, microsoft learn student ambassador program although i couldn't uh, give a lot of time to it but surely you can do that uh, so that is there apart from that i believe make more and more projects i'm emphasizing this on a lot Uh, i'm emphasizing uh, making projects uh, a lot because it's really really necessary um, that really helps you get uh, good internships in future so that is also there uh, i believe yeah continuous acquire, uh, acquisition of skills is also important um, so these are some small small things that you can do when you don't get offers so basically in that situation what we can do is first of all we can uh, do open source program participate in open source program and contributes to open source project second thing we can take part in community work like there are so many community in google developer groups and some microsoft also so you can network with them to get an uh, opportunity third thing that you can do is you can master your skills you can uh, build so many projects to master your skills uh, now i want to know one more thing like how to create a interview of front end development role okay so um, i mean there are a few tips that i would like to give over here yeah so first thing is that go through your projects whatever you projects you have made and applied uh, with uh, just go through them because even if you have watched tutorials for those projects you should know what that how does that project work what is the workflow and all so that yeah. is uh, this uh, mm-hmm. that is there and second thing that i'd like to say is that what i used to do when i was learning react vishal bhai you you are into front end development you know that react has a lot of theoretical concepts right yeah. uh, virtual dom and all right what yeah. i used to do i used to record voice notes of them and that uh, before interview i used to go through that voice notes so that is something that helped me and you can do as well uh, record a lot of voice notes while learning any technology um, uh, and i'm sure that will help you that is that is there uh, you can go through questions on like most asked questions on the internet um go um, there are questions on interview but and all uh, 
you can use chat gpt i mean for everything yeah. <laughs> chat gpt is there for you uh, you can take help from that and go through all the most start interview questions um, also there is this one trick that i uh, Uh, that i use a lot in interviews i'm sure you can relate uh, what i used to do i used while give so we know that every interview starts from a very easy point right very easy question yeah yeah so while answering your question what you can do you can trick the interviewer into asking a question out of your answer so what you can do is you can emphasize on a certain point in your answers and you know that the interview that the interview will pick up that point right yeah. so this way you are tricking the interviewer in, in into asking a question that you already know mm-hmm. so this way you can sort of propagate the interview on your own so that is something that i use that i do a lot i i somehow give answers in this way that i know what in, what what will be the next question by interviewer right so yeah. this is something that you can do uh that comes from experience for sure you should have you should have in depth knowledge of very yeah. yes yes before a front end front end interview uh, uh also uh, important topics of javascript are uh, javascript interviews questions are very important um, there are actually li- there are limited uh, topics for javascript uh, i mean i know javascript is a very vast language but for uh, uh, for interview pur- purpose i believe that there are some uh, limited topics uh, and i'm i'm sure you know vishal bhai you're into front end development yeah. so these are some things that i would recommend before uh, before a front end interview so one of my friend also do that thing like basically what he do is he know like he know post tech development like like he is very proficient in post tech development but he is not into dsa so in the intro itself he like you talk about concept development in that that like the interview ask only questions related to developer issue uh, like yeah. for software developer role as well uh, it's not like if for front end developer only the development question will be asked dsa mm-hmm. will not be asked like one more thing uh, one more question that i have is like is dsa required for front end development uh that is uh, <laughs> i i i am not a big fan of dsa to be honest and yeah. although i have seen dsa getting applied and i've taken help from my friends who are doing dsa a lot of help i've taken a lot of help from them so i think that there is kind a certain touch of dsa but since i'm not at all doing dsa so i can't tell you that i'm sure you can answer that better because yeah. i'm not a big fan of dsar to be very honest and uh, I, i have survived till now i don't know <laughs> about anything in the future but when, uh, without dsar i've survived till now okay so that means like uh, i want to ask like is dsar required for interview point of view like in front end development interview dsar I, asked or not yeah i think that startup at least mid size or small size startup do not ask dsar they yeah. want they, they they just want their job done and that that will be done through react js javascript only right so they will ask questions on javascript and react js only uh, some of the times people have given me access to their repositories and given me tasks to apply certain feature because they just want to know that can this candidate do the work right so for that i don't think the, uh, dsa is really important uh uh but i don't know for big tech companies i'm not sure thank you mr for joining us today and sharing your insight for how to break into a front end development industry i hope our audience gained some valuable knowledge and experience from this podcast if you have any question for me or mr please leave them in the comment section don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our channel For more such exciting content, I will see you in the next video.